What if Mercury and Venus had moons? Mercury having a moon similar to Ceres and Venus having a moon similar to the moon. Okay, so as you can see here, we're currently around Mercury. I've given it a series size moon as well, series like moon, similar properties, bit of random elements on it as well for the uh, unknown factor. And then if we go all the way to Venus, I've given it a moon-like moon as well, again with a few different properties. So here it is here. So we're gonna go ahead and press play and see how this performs. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. So the moon like moon and then the series like moon around uh, Mercury. So we'll go ahead and start with Venus since we're already here. So here we are. So it orbits Venus obviously just like any normal orbit. There's nothing to upset its orbit. Probably would give Venus a lot more winds and ties. Maybe it would affect Venus's rotation as well. So here it is. Let's go ahead and speed up time as well while that's playing out. If we go back to Mercury as well. The little series size moon. Oh dear. We can already see. So it's melted. But I don't think that's going to last forever. I don't know if that liquid ocean, yeah, that's not, oh dear. So, so around Mercury, it's a bit too close to the sun for this thing to really be having a nice ocean. So all of that liquid frozen water that was on it initially when we started, that's going to evaporate. Let's go ahead and speed up time really rapid. Back to Venus, see how the moon around there is doing. So here's Venus's moon. So it's in the positive temperatures as well. I'm not surprised at this distance to the sun. So we'll go ahead and continue, see how that changes. So there it is. Do a couple years around the sun as well. Now we can see this moon is going into the high hundreds, almost 200 now in temperature. Has a few uh, clouds on it as well as we can see from the different elements it contains. So there you go. Back to Mercury. Still, yeah, 200 plus degrees at this moon as well. So yeah, that series. Yeah, the series like moon. Doesn't work very well. With enough simulated time, all of that water is completely gone. It didn't last, it didn't last many years at all. If we look underneath as well, the atmosphere is just a barren rock as well. All of the nice material it had is completely ruined. It still retains a little atmosphere that it generated upon melting. But yeah, Mercury's moon still evaporating, as you can see, dissolving. And then if we go to Venus, similar to our moon, but just uh, a lot hotter. So here it is. But it looks like some kind of greenhouse effect has kicked off or something because this thing is rapid temperature. Let's see uh, if we can figure out why. 600 plus degrees on it. That may be due to the composition that it had. We go into the composition here. This moon did have some random elements. And it had a lot more carbon dioxide than normal. So it did have a bit of a greenhouse effect. That explains the high temperature of this moon as well. So quite quite an interesting moon here. Yeah, around the orbit of Venus. Giving it quite the interesting... Uh, Quite the interesting moon to go with the hottest planet. Now we've got the hottest moon as well. It's quite the quite the sight to behold.